Today is Wednesday, August 3rd, 2022. It is also day six of JS for web dev, um, not for web dev, for websites. And it is also day 380 of web development. And so for the past, I mean, I think yesterday, um, I basically had, I created like this site, right, using HTML and um, it was like a site about lions and I just used purely JS to turn it into a site for penguins. Um, so I think I'm going to do that again today. I'm going to try to kind of come up with an HTML page and then, I don't know, I'll figure it out from there. So, I don't know, I'll just have to pick another animal. So, doc type, HTML, HTML again, HTML, and then inside I'm going to do my body tags, and then I'm going to go to Wikipedia, wiki, how do you spell it? Okay, Wikipedia, and let's see, um... Random, nope, not random number generator, random animal generator. Sure, wheel. All right, and we'll search up a random animal, whatever it says. And while that loads, I'll go to unsplash and kind of load that up so I can get an image. Okay, tap to spin a wheel. What is going on? Hello? I'm so confused. This thing is like not even working. Okay, random animal generator. Oh, okay. I guess we'll do, um, I want to do none of these, honestly. Guanaco? How do I pronounce that? I did not spell that right, but it's okay. Guanaco. Okay, Guanaco. That's fine. So, um, I'll do a Guanaco, I guess. And I'll just search an image up Guanaco. Is that how you spell it? And search it up Guanaco on Wiki. And I'll just search up a few images here. So, they look, they look pretty nice, I guess. Alright, so I'll just keep that here, and I'm just going to copy, like, a little bit about, I don't know, whatever, Guanacruz, maybe something like this. I think this is fine. So I'm just going to copy that and put that in a P tag for a paragraph, paste that in there, and then it should appear in my HTML. Um, so then, uh, let me see, so... Each time it mentions the word Guanaco, I'm just going to give it span class of animal and kind of end it there. And then let me just kind of search up anytime. So blah, blah, blah. Okay, one more time over here. So we'll do a span tag, give it a class of animal and then end it right over here. So this is just me setting it up so I could do my JS. This is not really, I'm not even starting yet. All right, um, what am I doing again? Okay, I think, it, I think that's it. There were just two Guanacos, I believe. All right, and so in CSS, I'll just target the span element and change the font weight to bold so that it's bold and I can see it over here. Should, okay, beautiful, beautiful. All right, and then let me just get rid of that spacing there. And I'll also add an H1 and I'll call it all about guanacos. All right, so that's that. And then I'll also include a span tag over here and give this a class of animal. And I'll just change that right here. Okay. Let me see. So at this point, I'm going to also add a few images, and so this is why I got this image. So I'm just going to right-click, copy image address, go back to my code pen, and then under here, I'm just going to put an image source and put in that image, and it should show up once I define the attributes also, maybe 300 height, 300? Uh, maybe 
no, that looks really ugly. 200. 250. And then maybe 350. Sure. Okay. And then let me get another image. Um, let's see, maybe, maybe this one. You right click, copy image address, and then I'll go here and put in another image, source, and paste that image in there. And then give it the same, actually it shouldn't be the same width and height. Um, the height should definitely be something like 400 pixels, and then the width should be something like, I don't know, 250 pixels. Did I just put pixels? I mean, I can't even spell width. Um, what did I say? 250? I guess. I guess. That's fine. Alright, um... Do I like it? Do I not like it? Maybe the height could be 300. It doesn't even matter. Alright, so this is basically it. Um, this is the page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just save this. And... I'll basically make a fork of it and then maybe open it up. Oh, I should have opened it up first. Okay, let me go back to my code pen. All right, so this is the copy. This is where I'm gonna make with JS. And this is, where's my stuff? Okay. Nope, nope, wrong thing, wrong thing. Okay, great. This is the template. Alright, templates. Alright, okay, now on to the work. So, um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pick an animal to change my stuff to. So maybe, maybe I'll change this from guanacos to elephants. So I'll just um, start by first searching up an image. That's not how you spell elephant. All right, and then I'll also search up an article. So basically, I'm changing everything about um, my website. So right now, it's all about guanacos, but I'm going to change every time that there is um, that guanaco is mentioned, I'm going to change it to elephant. So that's like a text thing. And every time I see like a link, oh my god, I forgot to add a link, um, that goes to a certain article about um, guanacos, I'm going to change it to be sent or like to go to an article about an elephant. And then if um, there's an image about a guanaco, then I'm going to change the image to be an image about an, um, of an elephant, right? So I'll do that. Um, I just have to go back into the template and add a link in there. So I'll do that also. Um, so maybe a link over here in something, maybe inside the paragraph, or maybe not. So I'll do an a tag, href, and it's going to end up being an article about... Let me go back to where I was. Oops, okay, I guess not. Guanacos. All right, so I'll copy that and then I'll paste that wrong thing in here. And I'll be like, read more about guanacos. All right, and that would be my A tag. Um, but that probably should be maybe inside the paragraph so that it's not in the same place as the images. All right, so that works. Um, I'll just go ahead and copy all of this and go into my actual stuff and just paste it in here. All right, so that it appears there. All right, now I can start with my JS. So first order of business, I am going to change any time that guanaco is mentioned to an elephant. So in order to do that, I first have to set a variable and I'm going to call it variable um, elephant. And literally, hold on, elef okay. Um, and then I'm going to set it equal to, I'm going to actually access the document, which is the DOM. And I'm going to use a function called get elements. by class name because if I notice 
every time I set it up in a way that every time a guanaco is mentioned, it's within a span tag, but it also has a class animal. Um, so each guanaco has a class of animal, and so I can target that class right over here, animal, and now it's going to return to me a an array, which is kind of like a list, right, um, of all of the guanacos. So I can do console.log, whoops, and just print that out. Save that, and I can open it in debug mode and then do control shift I, and I'll be able to see that in my console as an HTML collection, right, which is an array. And so, as you can see, as I hover over it, each guanaco is highlighted, which is perfect. Okay, so now back to this. I don't need this anymore. That was just to kind of check if I, you know, if I really selected it. Now, because it's within um, an array, I have to basically use a for loop to iterate over that array to access each. Um, guanaco like to access each individual element I have to use a for loop so I'll have to do for um, and then inside I'll do a variable called I'll change this to elephant array and I'll change my variable to elephant um, something's weird about this variable equals variable elephant there we go variable elephant equals zero so it starts at zero and then the elephant, as long as it's less than the elephant array dot length, so like the list basically of all of the guanacos, as long as that's um, less than, um, as long as each count of an elephant, actually, you know what, that doesn't make sense, guanaco, it's a guanaco, not an elephant, what am I even, guanaco. Guanaco array. This is not an array of elephants. It's an array of guanacos. Guanaco. Hopefully I spelled it right. Okay. Sorry about that. So let me reiterate. Um, this is an array of guanacos. It's such a weird sentence to say, but I'm saying it. So it's basically a list of all the guanacos on my website. So guanaco, guanaco, blah, blah, blah. And what I did was I accessed the DOM, right, by using this. Um, and then I accessed basically each time there's a mention... Um, uh, a guanaco is mentioned and that happens to be when there is a class of animal and so I use the function get element by class name and that class name is animal and so that's going to access each time there's a guanaco and you saw that in um, being outputted as a home collection and then because it's an array and it's not an individual element that's being returned I have to iterate over that array in order to access each individual guanaco and so I'm going to say for um, the variable guanaco, I'm going to set it to zero, so it's going to be like a guanaco counter. And as long as the guanaco is less than the guanaco array, um, the length of the guanaco array, then I can do guanaco plus plus. So it's going to keep on going until it reaches, you know, the amount of guanacos that they're on on the site. And then I can do guanaco array, and then for each guanaco, um, I can access its inner HTML because it has HTML, right? It's the text and change that to be elephant. That is not how you spell elephant. Okay. Um, capital E could work. All right. So um, now you can see that all the guanacos, guanacos change to elephants. Isn't that beautiful? All right. Um, so that's the first. Thing. The second thing is changing any, even the link, right? Oh, actually, hold on. The link is something else. So, oh, it's because I didn't, all I have to do is add a span tag. Forgot about that one. Class, animal. All right, beautiful. So now even the link is elephant. All right, so now um, I should probably make sure that that's the same thing on the template. All right, let me get out of here now. All right, so now I'm going to move on to the link. So if I click on this link, it's going to take me to the Guanaco Wikipedia page, but I want it to take me to the elephant Wikipedia page. And so what I'll do for that 
is I will, I could do two things. Um, I can use a fancy CSS selector um, that kind of says to, um, the, to JS, like, hey, find um, a link that says something about um, guanacos, and if it says something about guanacos, and change it to um, elephant, right? Um, or I could just target the link itself because there's only one a tag and change it, change the source to not the source, the href to be a link to an elephant page. And I think that's what I'm going to do because I did the other thing yesterday. So let me see. So a variable, call it link. It's going to be one element. So I'll do, I'll just do link and I'll do, I'll access the DOM. So document dot, and then I'll use the function get should I use query selector or should I use get element by? I can use a query selector because if I do get element by tag name, that's a that's not individual. That returns a home collection as well. So query selector and I'll just do an a tag and just to check that I selected it correctly, I'll log it and I'll see if that worked out. Beautiful. Is that beautiful? It's beautiful. Okay. And now all I can do is link and then dot. Instead of doing inner HTML, I have to basically um, do dot href because here's the thing. If I go back over here, where is my, where's my link? I'm so lost right now. Right? Somewhere over here. Right. The inner HTML of my link is this it's read more about wanna goes and so if i change it to something it's going to change this text and i don't want that to change what i want to be changed is the href and so how do i go about targeting an attribute of um whoops how do i go about targeting an attribute of this link um i could do that by literally just targeting targeting it as if i was going to target the inner html and all i have to do is href and set that equal to the new link and so i can just copy that and go back paste it in there and now hopefully if i click on the link it takes me to elephants beautiful the wiki the wikipedia page of elephants okay so that's good um so that works um what else did i want to mention uh let me see. I don't think I wanted to mention anything else, right? Yeah. Okay. That's good. Now, the last thing on my web page is the images. And so I have two images of guanacos, but this is apparently all about elephants. And so I can't have those images there. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find a picture, two pictures of elephants, and I'm going to copy the image address. And before that, I have to do a whole bunch of stuff. So I have to call variable and I'll do image um, array because again if it's more than one item it's either going to be array or a list um, it's an array if you use like the functions get element by get elements by tag name or get elements by class name it's going to be a single item if you use get element by ID um, and it's going to be a single item if you use a query selector like we just did and it's going to be an, uh, uh, a list if you use query selector all. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay. So image array, I'm going to use document dot get element. Here's the thing though. I'll do it anyway. Get elements by tag name. And the tag is IMG. And then, because it's an array, I'm going to have to iterate over it. So I'll do that. So I'll do for image, nope, variable image equals zero as long as the image is less than the image array length then the image counter can continue growing and then as long as that's happening I can target each image in the image array and change its source to be an image of an elephant which is really cool but here's the problem both of them turn into elephants and what if I don't 
want them both to turn into elephants? What if I want them to be different images? Well, I can go into my images and give them certain IDs. So I can do I can do ID and I can do like link, not link, image one. And then I can go to my second image and give it an ID of image two. So this is like an identifier. It identifies um, that image. Just like if you were to have, you know, an ID, that ID only belongs to you. Like you're unique. That's, that's, that no one can have an ID like you do because it's, it's you. Like nobody can have your ID. You're you, right? And so same thing in HTML. An ID is basically something that you give. It's like a unique identifier um, for an element and no other element can have that same ID. And so now that I have that cleared up, um, I can now target, I can create a variable image um, and do, I can actually do image one and I can set that equal to document dot get element by ID, lowercase d, and change it to image one, just like I have it like that. And then because it's, um, this function returns a single element, right? Because an ID is a unique, there's no other element like it. I don't have to use a for loop, which is great. And now I can, all I have to do is literally just target the image one and change its source, right? To be that, oops, that image. And if I were to delete this, I'll notice that the second image goes back to how it was before, right? Perfect. But I'm going to leave that. I'm actually going to comment that out, actually. All right. Um, let's see. So then the second image, I can go ahead and find another one. Maybe a vertical picture would be great. Copy image address. Actually... I think, okay, for lessons purposes, I'll use a horizontal picture to show, um, to show something. So I'll copy image address, go back to my stuff, and I'll create another variable, image2, set it equal to document.getElementById, and this is going to be um, image2, because that's the ID, and then I can just do image to dot source and change the source of the image. Now here's the problem. I notice I noticed that the width and the height is very distorted. So not only can I change um, the source attribute of the image, but I can also change any other attributes that there are, like the width or the height. And so I can do that real quick. So I can also do image to dot with and change that to be 400 right and that's going to become 400 pixels and that works really well so now i have that happening here um i can also change the height i can also do image dot what's going on okay image two dot height and set that equal to i don't know maybe something like 300 and i'll get shorter or 200 what was it before Write something like that, or we could do 250 also. All right, and now it's kind of aligned um, to that. So now we went from basically, I'll see, let me see. We went from this day, all about guanacos, to all about elephants, just using JavaScript, um, which I think is pretty cool. So, yep. Let me actually copy this to make sure it's the same as this. All right. Um, yep, and that's it for today, I think. All right. Bye.